Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video I'm going to show you how to how to unzip zipped files in Visual Studio Code and Jupyter Notebook. So let's dive in. So first let's go ahead and import pandas as pd and for us to unzip a zip file so for today we're working with it with this um zipped file right here for us to unzip this zipped file inside visual studio code or jupyter notebook we first have to import something called wget So right here for you to get um wget you can go to this URL and I'm going to put this URL in the comment section in the description below. So you can use PRP install wget to install it on your local machine or if you're using an account like me, you can use this to install wget. And once wget is installed, you just go ahead and do import wget. And wget will allow you to download this landing club file. So right now this is um, the directory that I'm working in. As you can see, there's nothing here, just the notebook I'm working with right now. So for us to get the information stored in this zipped file URL, we just do wget.download. And in parentheses, you put in the URL to download. So in this case, I just do land. As you can see, the loan starts data that's insta inside the zipped file is showing up right here on the right side. I'll just let that run. While this is executing, I'll go ahead and import something else we're going to need for. So when, once this is done, it's actually the result is actually going to be a zipped file. See, loan starts this .csv. If you go to the right side, you also see the exact same thing. So now we need to get access to the CSV files inside this zip file. So wget just gets the data inside this URL. And now we need to access the data inside this zipped file. In this case, we just do something called import zip file. And once that in imported to get access to the zip file, we do it with zip file dot zip file. And then in parentheses, we'll put in what the zip file is and this is our zip file here and then we we'll just put r as zip reference okay and then here we we'll do zip reference dot extract all And from here, you could um, put the path to extract the zip file too. But if you do not provide a path, it will automatically extract this zipped file to the current working directory, to the folder you're currently working with. Or you could put in the location of where the zip file will look like so in this case it will look like something like this and in here will be the file path from local computer okay so to demonstrate this real quick i'll go ahead and copy a file path and show you what it will look like so let's say for example if i wanted to extract the file to this location i'll click on this folder and go to home and copy path and then go back into 
Visual Studio Code and put the path right here. And this is where the, uh, make sure this is. And this file path right here is where the zipped file will be extracted to. But I do not want the extracted file in this location. So I'm just gonna, I'll just go ahead and delete this. This is just for demonstrating what it will look like. Once this file extracts, I want it to be extracted to this folder that I'm working in. And in that case, you just leave this empty like this. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. As you can see, loan start CSV, which is the data inside this loan start zip file has been shown up here. And just to prove that this works, we could just simply do pd.read CSV. So I just went ahead and copied the path of where the CSV file is located. And then you need R before it. R just make sure this is a string and there's no Unicode encoding. So this is the path on my computer that has um, this loanstats.csv file. Let's go ahead and execute this. Actually, let me set this equal to loan. And now let's do loan.head. And also do learn dot shape. So this is the learn CSV file that was inside this learn zipped file. If we do learn dot shape, we'll be able to find out how big this data set is. So this is about 128,000 rows and one column. And this is um, one column because of how this is. You need to do some formatting to clean up the data set. So yeah, the data sets um, needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but that's not what we are doing in today's video. Today's video is just showing you how to extract zipped file with Jupyter Notebook and Visual Studio Code. If you want to learn more about unzipping different types of file inside Visual Studio Code and Jupyter Notebook, I suggest uh, you go to this blog post I'm going to link it in the description below. It's called Four Ways to Load Data in Jupyter Notebook and Visual Studio Code. And you can find this um, on my website. And I'm going to put the link to this blog post in the description below so you can come here and read the different ways to load data in Visual Studio Code. If you want to get access to this Jupyter Notebook that I used in today's tutorial, just go here to machinelearningeducation.com and once you are here on the website machinelearningeducation.com, go to Free Data Science Resources. And under Free Data Science Resources, uh, you get access to the different data science resources that I have. So you get access to my data science cheat sheet, data science job and career resources, and you get access to you know the data science tutorial. So under Data Science Tutorials is where I have my tutorial, Python, notebooks, videos, podcasts, everything. So any tutorials that I do on my YouTube channel and blog posts, the Python notebook for it is here under Data Science Tutorials. I'm going to leave this link in the description below also. So machinelearningeducation.com slash free data science resources and you get access to my different data science resources. Anyway, I hope this video helped you. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you made it this far in the video and you didn't like it, give it a double thumbs down. And thank you for watching. I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye.